Hey everybody, welcome back to the Old Deer Hunters. Today I'm going to give you my top five cartridges for hog hunting. So stick around, let's see what we come up with. I guess the first thing I need to talk to you about is, is why these five cartridges have become my favorite for hog hunting. One of the top reasons is that most of these cartridges can be found in any type of rifle. So if you like a bolt action rifle, like your regular old deer hunting rifle, or if you prefer one of the new modular rifles, as I like to call them, I want to be very uh, family oriented in, in this video because not only are these cartridges great for hog hunting, some of them are really good for young hunters. Of the five cartridges I've selected today, three of them will fit in a magazine with a length of 2.26, which is the length of a 223. The first cartridge on my list is the 223 Remington. I think this is about the, the minimum caliber that you could use for hog hunting. It's, it's really good for the first shot because usually, you know, the first shot is up here in the cranial area and it doesn't take too much lead and power to put that hog down on the first shot. After they scatter, you may have a little bit more of a problem bringing them down with a 223. But there are loads and bullets available that make them pretty effective on uh, bringing hogs down with body shots. Because, you know, every hog out there you're going to be hunting does, doesn't weigh, you know, 200 pounds. Half the hogs you're going to see out there are small. They're, they're young hogs. So, you know, if you come across a sounder that has a, a, a large female, and you know some half-grown uh, pigs then you're going to take that sow out with the first shot and then you've got you know when the little ones scatter then you've got uh, a better chance of taking them down with the body shot with a, a cartridge like the 223. If you're going to hunt with a, a 223 for hog hunting then you need to pay particular attention to the bullet you select. Probably a soft point or some of the, the heavier bullets in the 60, 62, or 75 grain range. Most rifles uh, for 223 are, are have a barrel twist that will handle a 75 grain bullet. Or at least both of mine do. I have a Tika, and I have you know two or three other 223 barrels uh, with different types of rifling or different twist rates, but they all handle a 75 grain bullet. And one of the the best bullets I've found is is one from Hornaday. It's a 75 grain hollow point, but it doesn't, you know, go in and explode like a varmint bullet. It's a 75 grain hollow point that actually acts more like a soft point bullet. It goes in, it mushrooms, and with that 75 grains of lead, it'll penetrate into the lungs and put that hog down pretty quickly. Next cartridge I want to talk to you about is on the opposite end of the spectrum. It's the 308 Winchester. The 308 Winchester is, is great on hogs. I mean, if you really want to put them down right now, I mean, this is it. It shoots a 150 grain bullet at about 2,850 feet per second. And, you know, it'll blast right through a 200 pound hog. With this cartridge, you don't have to worry about penetration. It's going to penetrate. And there's all kinds of ammunition out there. There's all kinds of brands out there. And this cartridge also is chambered in just about every rifle available and every type of rifle available. You know, you can get a pump action, you can get a bolt action, you can get a modular rifle. Uh, there's single shot rifles. <laughs> I think uh, some pistols are even chambered for this in, in the, the old single shot pistols, but it has a lot of power. And, you know, if you can stand the recoil, this cartridge will get the job done. And not only is it good for uh, hog hunting, it's good just for just about everything. Now it's a little heavy, you know, it's still a little too heavy for uh, varmint hunting. And, but if you only have one rifle and you want a deer hunting rifle, a hog hunting rifle, and occasionally take a coyote, you know, you can do it with a 308. So number two on my list, the 308 Winchester. The next cartridge on my list is very similar to a 223, and it's a 22 nozzler. The reason I like a 22 nozzler is because of the high velocity 
and the heavier bullets that can be shot in a small frame rifle. Any rifle that has a magazine length of 2.26, the same as a 223, will also chamber a 22 nozzler. So what nozzler did was they took a, a 6.8 SPC case that the military had been experimenting with, and they necked it down to 22 caliber. And what you have is a little bit fatter case if you compare them. I'll try to get it up close here so you can see it. This one has a rebated rim, so it will work with a 223 bolt face. So, you know, it'll work in any rifle. All you have to do is just the chambering is a little bit different. It's a little bit fatter, holds a little more powder, and you get about 250 feet per second more velocity out of any given bullet. So, I mean, you can use like 60 and 70 grain bullets, 75 grain bullets, and they will shoot as fast as a 55 grain bullet will in this 223. So you get a lot more power, but you know if you're going to use this for hog hunting, the same thing applies as with the 223. You got to make sure you're using the right bullet. You need a heavily constructed bullet, like a Barnes, you know, all copper bullet, a Nosler Acubon bullet, which you know you can buy these from Nosler uh, with different types of bullets and different weights of bullets, and they're really effective on the hog. Even when you hit a body shot with this 22 Nosler. Uh, it's really going to do some damage inside. So this thing shoots really flat. It packs a lot of energy, and it will get the job done on hogs. Now, if you've been around this channel before, you know I like the 243 Winchester. The 243 Winchester is nothing but a 308 Winchester that's necked down to 6 millimeter or 243 caliber. Now this shoots a 100 grain bullet at about you know, 2,950 feet per second. It shoots 70 grain bullets that I like to shoot for coyotes or hogs. It shoots those things at about 3,400, 3,500 feet per second. So it shoots really fast, it's really flat trajectory, and it hits with a lot of energy. This is one of uh, Doug's favorites you know, for coyote hunting and hog hunting. And deer hunting. I mean, I've you've seen some of the videos. You know, we've taken a couple of deer with this with this cartridge, and it does a really, really good job. You have to have the medium frame bolt action rifle or the large frame uh, modular rifle for this cartridge because it is the same length as a 308. It packs a lot of punch. It shoots really flat. You know, shooting a 70 grain bullet, uh, you can hit a four inch target by holding dead center, that's what we call maximum point blank range, out to about 275 yards. So, I mean, this thing shoots flat, hits hard, and it's great for, for hog hunting or any other type of farming hunting. I, I really highly recommend it. But when it gets really down to it, my favorite hog hunting cartridge is a 6.5 Grendel. Now, I've written about this on my website at theolddeerhunters.com, and I've made a lot of videos about it. But when it really comes down to hog hunting, I don't know anything that's any better than this because it's a little 2.26 length cartridge that will fit in any type of rifle. I think there's several manufacturers out there now that chamber this in bolt action rifles as well as all the modular rifles. The cartridge shoots a 123 grain bullet at about 2,500 feet per second. And you can also buy uh, lighter bullets in the 90 grain range. Federal makes a really nice 90 grain that's uh, better for coyotes, but it will take hogs. I've taken hogs with those 90 grain bullets and it puts them right down. But for my money, this 123 grain Hornaday uh, SST or the Nosler ballistic tip, you know, they're just fantastic for, for hog rifles. It has a ballistic coefficient of about 510, so it shoots really flat. So, uh, you know, you can zero this thing for 200 yards and your in mid range trajectory will only be about an inch and a half or two inches high. So, you know, you can hit a four inch target, but it's holding dead on out there, you know, all the way out to 200 yards. You can get this chambered in the, the small Howa or CZ rifles, and it's within a little baby frame because it's a 2.26 inch. Or you can get it in the uh, Ruger, makes it in their ranch rifle. It's just a really, really good cartridge for hog hunting. It's got 
uh, a small case capacity. So if you reload, it doesn't take a lot of powder, but it has, you know, just super performance for this size. You know, I've taken deer with it, and if you're talking about a rifle and a cartridge that's good for young shooters or small frame shooters, this is about ideal. I mean, it has virtually no recoil. Just about anybody that's old enough to go deer hunting can shoot this and not flinch and not be afraid of the recoil. So if you have a young hunter, you might want to look into this. This, this will put a deer down pretty quickly. I've shot, you know, a couple of them and had no problem finding them. I've shot, you know, <laughs> probably a hundred hogs with this thing and, it's, and it's, it hasn't failed me yet. That's my top five uh, cartridges for hog hunting. I know everybody's got their own, own favorites and I might have left yours out. And I know there's a lot more that will get the job done. So I just want to say thanks for stopping by. If you like this video, please uh, give us a like and subscribe. And if you call Outdoor Legacy, tell them the old deer hunter sent you. Thanks a lot.